Before he attempts the dive, Christopher tests Stig's blood oxygen levels and his pulse. Just put it on. You just need a second, please. Yes, you can tell me. The, you can also hear probably the heartbeat. Right. There we go. You got a signal? Now we've got a signal. Yeah, so you... Yeah, I put in this. Oxygen so, level? The oxygen level is uh, 98. Perfect. That, that's perfect. The pulse is uh, 81. Stig's pulse is higher than he'd like for a long dive, but he has a trick up his sleeve. Okay, so you just take a deep breath, and when you're ready, we're ready. And listen. Now you hear his heartbeat. It's still, it's uh, 88 and 86 now, 83, 76. Within seconds, Stig's pulse starts to fall dramatically. 52, 50, 48. Stig's tapping into a survival instinct we all possess. It's called the mammalian dive response. And by placing his face into the water, what that's doing is that's telling the brain to relax. It's that lovely example of when you take a baby and push them underwater. What they do instantly, they relax as they're underwater. And that's the mammalian dive response. So that's helping lower this heart rate. Feels great. All right. Probably in the low 40s or something, but once I go down and the compression and everything, everything's there, it'll drop to 30 or yeah. below 25 or something. Yeah. That's that nice peaceful boom, boom.